I want to showcase a pretty cool new feature that's been added to the Axe FX3 with firmware 5.08. We have individual high and low cuts per IR slot in the cabinet block. Now, what I want to show you guys, I've got these two impulses loaded that I made of my Marshall 412, one with a Sennheiser 906, the other with a Royal 121. At the moment in the preamp section, I've got it wide open. On channel B, I've got the exact same impulse mix, but I've got the preamp set to a low cut of 80 hertz and a high cut of 10K. So let's have a listen to what that does. This is sort of the way just about everybody was using the cab block before this update. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's taking out some of the fizz from the top end of the 906 and it's taking out some of the boom from the Royer. But say I wanted to remove more low end from the Royer without sacrificing the chunk that I'm getting from the 906. Uh, let's have a listen to the Royer on its own. <laughs> I would have to set the low cut higher. So normally I go to the preamp section, you know, I set the low cut to about 150 and it does the trick on just the Royer. We get this. But when I combine it back with the 906, it's taken out too much low end from the overall mix. And I might run into a similar situation if I was trying to tame the high end on the 906 and then it would remove like too much high end from the blend. So instead of doing that, I could leave the preamp wide open. And in the cab block, let me optimize that low end on just the Royer impulse. So I'll set the individual low cut to about 150, which gives me this. <laughs> But then when I blend it back with the 906, I could then set the individual low cut on the 906 to about 80 hertz where I would normally have it. And we get this. And I could do a similar thing with the high cut. So I could set the high cut only on the 906 to about 10K. We get this. And let's compare that to just the stock preamp settings like we had in previous firmwares. So that's pretty cool. It definitely sounds different and the high and the low end have been tailored individually in different ways. This is something that I'm going to play around with a whole lot more and do some tutorials on down the track. So I hope you guys enjoy this little look. I think this is an awesome feature. It's great if you're using multiple mics or it's great if you've got an impulse mix that you really, really like, but it's like, ah, oh, I know that dynamic mic is adding like really harsh frequencies above a certain frequency. I'll just go in with the individual high cut and tame that rather than have to go extreme with the overall preamp high cut. So I hope this video was clear and made sense. I will see you guys real soon.